with that's not how you make a professional picture of your face is it oops <laughs> why do you need a professional picture of my face for well I'm gonna tell you I wrote applications today whoops I also cut that part away of my beard because it looks ridiculous yeah now I'm at the part of my life where I have a beard and need to shave every second day. Ah, anyway, let's look over here um, where we have my computer. And it's already 1 a.m. Wow, how did that happen? What? So I have spent the past five hours writing an application for the ultimate peace camp. Have you heard about Ultimate Peace? Um, I actually heard about them, or it, at the Project Forson. More specifically, when John said which charities will get the money. And then he said a charity, I was like, don't know, don't know. And in the end, he said, uh, Ultimate Peace. Um, which is a charity who use ultimate frisbee to um, tell uh, to wait how did he say it I don't even know anymore something something peace in the Middle East put the flash away um, I, I can't remember but anyway what they do is they have a camp in the Middle East, in Israel, um, and they bring together the young people of this area from all the, the different ethnic groups um, and they play ultimate! How cool! Um, and that helps um, so that they get to know each other and um, get rid of prejudice or whatever um, because they, they would otherwise never meet people from other groups. And I think that's pretty cool. And there's a camp, and the camp needs coaches and coaches assistants. And that's what I applied for, or am at the moment applying for. Um, because, well, um, I thought, now that I'm in the whole process of writing applications, yesterday I wrote my CV again, um, and I applied for Cian, actually, um, for a summer internship there, and today I'm applying for the ultimate peace thingy, and they overlap, like, they're at the same time, um, so, I don't know, that, that, that that's not cool, I would like to do both, but then again, at the Cian thingy, I thought, well, they won't even take me anyway, so I'm fine. Because actually I want to work here in England, because I have this room until the end of August, and I pay for it, so I thought, hmm, it would be smart to also live here while I pay for it. Um, and so I, I want to get a job here in the UK, but I applied for Cern anyway, because it seems like such an interesting job. Um, and yeah, now I applied for Ultimate Peace, uh, which also seems like really uh, a, a cool thing to do. Um, I don't get paid for that or anything, I actually have to uh, pay something, um, the flight for instance. Uh, but, you know, it should be really fun and I think it's, it's just a cool thing to do. And I, I think it would help a charity with that. And I would help young people, and it would be just so cool. Um, that's why I really want to do it. And that's why I wrote this application form now, here. Past five hours went from here to here. Uh, information through my fingers. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a bit late, that's why I'm going crazy. Um, but yeah, I am, I mean, <laughs> funny story. Two years ago, 
I had an application success rate of 100%. I applied for one thing and they wanted me. And last year I didn't apply for anything. Last year I just, I don't know, did nothing. What? Um, and this year I already applied for two things. And if I keep uh, the 100% rate, uh, I have a problem because I can't even uh, go to both. Hmm, Andy, are you seriously worrying that you have too many job offers? Yes. Yes, I am. While I'm at the process of writing applications, I'm worrying that too many of those actually want me. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, you have to set priorities and currently my priorities are ultimate peace, then the Tsean thingy, and then the stuff in England, which I did not apply for yet. Ultimate piece is on top because A, it's so cool, and B, it's only like two weeks, and so I'm just two weeks there, and then I go back to England and then I stay in England. Yeah. Um, that would be cool. I really want to go to the camp. It seems like so much fun. I watch videos. Also, it's a charity. Also, they got two hundred. Uh, they got twenty thousand dollars for from the P four A. So apparently, Nerdfighters decided that it's a cool thing. And yes, I also decide that it's a cool thing, and I want to help, but not by donating money. I will fundraise money, which is part of the program. Um, but yeah, we'll see if they want me. I mean, I wrote a decent application here. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't know, maybe, I have absolutely no idea how many people apply for that. Um, but I heard that there are, or they, at least they wrote that there are uh, lots of people applying and, and lots of good people applying. And I'm, with my four years of ultimate experience, um, not the best guy, but, I mean, I linked my YouTube videos, like I linked my channel. Um, so, you can actually see that here. A link to one of the YouTube videos where I was talking about uh, the spirit of the game. Um, which is one really important aspect of this whole camp. Um, yeah. We will see, we will see. So, I write some more applications tomorrow. No, probably not. Tomorrow is a very busy day. I have training and then a party. Um, but maybe on Sunday. And you will see me tomorrow wearing this mask. <laughs> right, so until then, make your backup. Talk to you tomorrow.